In this video for HR, we're going to look at the policy management and policy acknowledgement by employees functions. So first of all, look, let's look at how we manage policies. If I go over to our department resources and I click on HR policies, it will bring up the HR policy library. This is where we actually develop policies and um, manage policies. So uh, we've just come into the new year and we're a bit behind right now and we really need to have the updated employee handbooks um, uh, out there for uh, our company and our company operates in three states California, Nevada and Arizona so unfortunately that means we also need to have a handbook for each of these. So we've actually made the changes and the ha Arizona Employee Handbook um, has been published. We'll take a look at that in a minute. But I've got, I'm ready to actually finish off the um, California Employee Handbook for 2021 here. So the first thing that we do in our HR department is um, we need to get it signed off by the uh, HR director and um, possibly the CEO, but uh, let's go ahead and get this first sign off. So all I have to do is select um, the document here. I go to automate and request sign off. By selecting the document, I can go in here and request the approver. Okay, and I'll have our CEO be the approver. I can put a message in here. Um, please do a final review on the new CA handbook so we can publish and I'll just say run flow okay and we can see the sign off status has gone to pending and I'm gonna go in and let's take a look at my email here and here is the approval flow and I can actually go link to the handbook and take a look at it we won't do that just to save some time here and I'm gonna go ahead and approve it and I'll enter in comments and uh, and I'm playing the role of the approver uh, the CEO and I will just submit that now in my email I see uh, that the handbook has been signed off on and so now I can go ahead and work on publishing that and then we'll put in place the uh, employee acknowledgments of the new employee handbook so now we can see it's an improved status so now what I want to do is actually save this go into Word and then save it as a PDF here um, so that I can move it to a published status and we'll move it to the published um, folder and then we'll actually copy it to the employee portal uh, folder and uh, also I'm going to copy it up to the doc central policies folder um, you don't need it in both places but if you only have our HR product uh, employees can access it through the employee portal or if uh, you have our internet self-service internet uh, then doc central is where we will uh, push it up to okay and I didn't record this part of it because it's pretty standard um, I went into the uh, Word document here saved as a PDF. We're going to leave the Word document because it is the source document in the development folder. And then I'm going to go ahead and move this. I could have saved as and um, put it right in the published folder as well. But we'll just show how we can move it into the published folder here. So I will go here. I will then move to published folder I could have also copied and left uh, the PDF in there but there's no reason really for that and I'll just say current library and let's move it to published policies move here okay and now it's out in published policies now again this library is only available to HR staff so what the next thing we'll need to do here um, from a published perspective is to uh, actually copy it to um, the um, portal folders which is the employee in the employee portal and that's where uh, it can be accessed there so let's go here let's go ahead and just say copy and copy to 
And instead of going to this, we're going to actually put it into portal documents, which is our public folder. And we'll say, copy it here. And now it will actually be copied and available into the employee self-service folder. It'll also come up in any searches from Doc Central too. Okay, the next step in um, processing the uh, policy is to set up the uh, policy acknowledgement. And so for this, I go to policy management. And this is a list which actually tells um, uh, the system what you want to do with this policy. So here's the old employee handbook, California employees uh, here. And I could just copy this really because it's the same thing um, over. And uh, or I could go in and put a new one in. Okay, let's go ahead and set up the actual acknowledgement um, process for this new uh, California handbook here. So I'm going to go in and say this is the uh, California Employee Handbook 2021. Okay, that's the, this is just the title of uh, the setup for this thing. Um, I'll need to cross-reference that. So there is this. It only shows the published ones. Um, and then I'm going to need to pick a policy group. Now, what this is, is it is um, a group of employees, a list of employees that need to get this document. And so that would be all employees who reside uh, in California. The due date for this, I'm going to put as we need this by the really the end of the month. And then I can put email text. And I can, this will appear in the email. And I'll go ahead and type the rest of it here. Okay, to save time, I've gone ahead and um, built this out. So uh, it's going to the California Employees Group. Uh, it will be emailed there. Uh, the due date is 1-30-2021. The email text that will appear in here is in, in, in the acknowledgement email uh, is this. And it will actually provide them a reminder email if we've not received the acknowledgement back from them um, one day before the due date uh, as well. And it'll also send overdue ones uh, out to them as well and in, in uh, some cases copy their boss. So that's all there is to set this up. I will hit save and it will actually go ahead and then send out the um, email to uh, that population uh, of employees, the California employees. Now we can see that um, this is now changed to in uh, to starting, which means it's still sending out. Once it completes the uh, the complete sending out of the um, acknowledgments, and I just heard that I've got one, um, then it will change to in process, and then once everybody's acknowledged it, it will change to completed. Okay, I'm in my email, and this is what I got as an employee. Um, it has the text up here. If you have any questions uh, here, and uh, Doc Central or HR, you could actually put links to those here. It's it's where um, they can actually get to the policy. So I'm going to go ahead here and reply, and I'm just going to say as it instructs, yes, and send. So let's say I go to lunch, come back in a couple hours, and I want to check and see uh, how it's going. I can go into the employee management uh, area, and down here is policy acknowledgments, and it shows policy acknowledgments by all employees. Okay, um, if I take a look at this, I can see here's my Daryl Trimble acknowledged it, and that's my status. Um, this shows uh, all employees, not just who's who acknowledged, but what their status is, whether it's been sent, um, uh, whether it's been not acknowledged, it, it, that turns to not acknowledged after the due date um, as well. And then they can, it, it will automatically send an email to remind them and also to their manager uh, as well. So uh, this is how we can actually track this. And uh, uh, in the employee record too, it actually, if I were to look at the Daryl Trimble employee record, it will actually show all my acknowledgments. I can also look at different views of this. So here it is by policy review. And here we can see the one that was just went out. And I can look at the status here. Uh, I can also go in 
and see who has acknowledged. I can actually do a filter here and say, look, I just want to filter by and see acknowledged ones. And here we can see, in fact, I'm the only one that has acknowledged it for this policy. So that's um, really all about policy management and policy acknowledgement. Very simple system, very easy to use. And for the employee, you know, they don't even have to come to the HR portal. It's all right there. I do also want to show you what happened with the policy um, and how it is available to employees. So if you just have our HR uh, package, the useful documents here from the employee portal will have the policy published uh, out to it. Here's policies. And we can see the uh, California 2021 handbook. If I have the internet package, uh, self-service internet package uh, as well, um, the policy will appear in Doc Central, and I could either search for it or we can just go ahead and take a look for it here in browsing the different policies, and here's the policies library. And in HR policies, we can see here is the new California handbook available for people. And of course, that will come up in a search too. So that is the policy management uh, functions within SPHR. Uh, again, the ability to develop policies, get them signed off, publish the policies out to the portals um, where either the HR uh, employee self-service or up in our self-service area for across all departments in the intranet uh, area. And uh, then we also showed you how to set up electronic acknowledgement and how that works. A lot of time saving here, no more, you know, having to sign off on individual, um, you know, documents and live things. And it gives you the legal acknowledgement uh, required, especially since it's through their email, with this, which is the authenticated uh, source.